friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and today I am in very casual wear which is rare for me but it is because I have seen all of your comments and I'm bringing DIYs back to my channel and today is the first video of DIYs. So I thought it would be fun to kick off this series with testing out DIYs from TikTok because on TikTok there are so many amazingly talented people that are constantly posting fashion DIYs and I always watch them and I save them to my phone and I think they're really cool but I never actually get around to actually testing them out in real life to see if they work and to see if someone that is a beginner, i.e. me, can do it. So that is what we are going to do today. Before we get into that though, this whole video is about TikTok, so I recommend checking out my TikTok if you want to see some more fashion fun. I post outfits of the day and all fun things like that, so be sure to check that out if that's something you're interested in. But without further ado, let's see if I can do these DIYs in real life. The first one that we have is how to turn a big oversized t-shirt into a dress, and the girl says that it's for beginners. Now this is by the TikTok. TikToker page, I don't know how to say her last name, Sacrice, Sacrice, and I love her fashion DIYs. I have so many of them saved. I think they are so cool, so I am really hoping that this one. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dress out of an oversized t-shirt. First, just grab a dress that already fits you. Lay the dress out over the t-shirt and make sure that the shoulders are lined up. If you want it to have a different neckline, just grab a tank top that you'd like to trace. Cut around the shape, making sure you leave enough room for seam allowance and enough to fold over the shoulder. Then just flip the dress inside out and sew all the way along this line. I'm using a serger, but if you don't have one, you can just use a straight stitch on your sewing machine. Now you're just going to fold the armhole under and pin it. I did about a half an inch under. Once you have it all pinned, you're just going to sew around the armhole. You can use either a cover stitch machine, a twin needle, or just a zigzag stitch. I used the pre-existing hem, but if you need to hem it, you're just going to repeat that last step. Here's what it looks like, and this is probably how I'm going to style it for winter. For this DIY, I didn't own any oversized men's t-shirt, so instead I went thrifting and I found this gorgeous t-shirt for only $10. So, it has the design of Singapore on the front, like it has all the famous landmarks, and I absolutely adore Singapore. When the world goes back to normal, I really want to visit there again, so I thought that this would make such a gorgeous dress. I really think it has potential to be a gorgeous, edgy dress. So, let's get to the DIY. Alright, here's the shirt that I'm going to use all laid out, and so I have this dress from yes style that I really like how it fits on me it does not have the tags attached because I haven't worn it yet but I'm gonna lay this over the top just like the tutorial said to and just like the girl said in the video I do want a different neckline so I'm just gonna place this tank top over the top just like so now it's a dirty tank top that's why it's inside out so y'all can't see that now is the part I'm a little bit nervous for because we actually have to cut up the dress so I am nervous because this is where things could go wrong but let's just do it so now according to the TikTok we need to sew this dress so I haven't used my sewing machine in quite some time I literally had to like wipe dust off it but I am excited because hopefully this video and like making these DIYs will get me back into doing this sort of stuff because I used to make clothes all the time and now I never do so I'm really excited to see how this goes so I have just just using safety pins, safety pinned all up the seam here. So I know people hate when I use safety pins. I still haven't bought sewing pins, so I gotta use what I have. And I'm just going to use, as the girl on TikTok said, a straight stitch the whole way up, but not on the shoulders. Now that I've finished sewing the dress, it's time to pull it inside out, which makes me nervous to see how my sewing went. Okay, it's actually starting to come together and look like a cute dress. Ah, okay, this is exciting. So now I just have to do the sleeves. Okay, so. According to the DIY, now I just need to take this armhole and fold it under just a little bit. She said about a half an inch. I don't know, inches, so I'm guessing that's like three centimeters. And then pin it down and then sew it with a zigzag stitch. And that is the last step. So let's go throw this dress on and see how it looks. Ta-da! This is what the dress looks like on it. So this is the front and this is the back. And I am so happy with how this has turned out. So I styled it how I plan to wear this dress with a gold and black bag that's from um, Misguided. Some gold chains and gold earrings. So it's not 100% perfect. Like the shoulders are a little bit off, especially at the back. But I mean, for my first attempt at like trying to sew something in quite some time, I'm really impressed. I'm definitely going to wear this out and I'm obsessed with how it looks. I'm really happy that the design turned out okay because you know I saw it on the shirt and I thought it would look good but it's 
obviously sometimes my visions and stuff don't work out it's all part of the creative process thinking something works and then actually having it work are two completely different things so I'm so happy that this looks good it definitely looks like an edgy dress that would be sold or misguided or something but instead it was ten dollars from Vinnie's which I am obsessed with. the next DIY that we're gonna test out is how to turn a long cardigan into a cropped cardigan with a crop top and this is definitely in my like preppy girly style so I'm really hoping that this will work out DIY we're doing a 180 from the last the last DIY was very edgy this is very girly because I have this beautiful pink cardigan that I really like but it's just a bit long so I really think that sprucing it up by cropping it and turning it into a crop top and a jacket will look super duper cute so let's get into it so this DIY looks pretty easy all you need to do is fold the cardigan in half and then cut across that line and that's it you're meant to have a completed cardigan and apparently that's all I need to do <laughs> so I I'm not convinced that this crop top is going to fit me instantly. I think we're going to have to do some minor changes to it, but let's go put it on and see. So this is what the cardigan looks like on, and isn't it so cute? Until you see the back and see that I've had to tie it up with a hair tie. So as expected, this is way too big on me. If I undo the hair tie, this is how much extra space there is. Way too much. So I want this to work really bad because I really think that this looks cute. So what we're going to do is take this in and also sew up down here just because it needs an extra button but I don't have an extra button of the same kind so we're just going to sew that up there and we are going to make this work. I'm determined to make it work. All right the first thing that I'm going to do is that on this like crop top I guess we'll call it here if I flip it inside out there, was, there are seams so I am going to unpick this seam then I'm going to put it on and measure it and sew it back up so let's just unpick that I do have a sewing unpicker somewhere but I have literally no idea where it is so I'm going to use scissors it's going to take longer all right now that the crop top is looking like this I'm just going to put it on again and just see how much roughly I need to take it in now because this is stretchy material it doesn't matter too much if your cardigan isn't stretchy you will have to you know take a lot of care in this step to make sure you get it right but I need to take in about this much as you can see there all right now that I've adjusted the crop top to fit me I'm going to go cut off this extra bit and sew it back together all right now that I have the two separate pieces I am going to sew it back together on my sewing machine all right now that this is back to looking like an actual crop top but just one that's gonna fit me a bit better I'm just gonna put some stitches in the front here see where that gaping hole is because I don't have an extra button so just going to flip this inside out and pop in some stitches ta-da this is the final result so as you can see it definitely fits me a lot better now and just a little life hack for you guys this wasn't a part of the DIY but I could not figure out for the life of me how to make the bottom of this look nice and I just came to the realization that my sewing seals just aren't good enough to try and make this raw edge look cleaner so a life hack for y'all that I do quite a lot actually is to just tuck it into your bra <laughs> like that is what I will do with this crop top and then it makes it the perfect size of your bra and nothing will fall out or anything and it just looks super cute so overall I'm happy with this DIY I think that this looks gorgeous like this is such a cute little outfit and even the cardigan being cropped will look super cute as well I don't think that the TikTok DIY was that great because I did have to add my own few steps but overall it was a fun idea and I'm happy with how this turned out this next DIY is how to wear a scarf top multiple different ways so it's all about tying it up to make it look really cute and fun and I'm interested to see if it'll actually stay on when I put it on so let's see the other day I found this beautiful scarf and it reminded me of the TikTok where you can tie up one scarf a bunch of different ways to wear as a top so I've just pulled up that video so the first one that we're gonna try I mean I'm pretty sure it's gonna work but you just fold the scarf in half tie it up and then tie it up on the back Ta -da! there we go if I take these straps off you'll be able to see it better one moment there we go a super cute top and then I guess a second way you could wear it as well would be to tuck that tail part in and then that's a second style where it just looks like a bodysuit how cute okay let's see what the other styles are okay the next one is the same step so keeping it like this but tie it on the front okay so just like this and then tie it 
on the front. I'm just going to take this crop top off because I'm pretty sure it's actually worked. So let me just take off the top quickly. This one works as well and makes such a gorgeous top. I love this. It's so cute. All right, what's next? Damn, I'm impressed. For this next one, I am meant to repeat the same steps. So by folding it in half, bringing it around, except this time I make it into a halter neck top. Now this one, I don't know if it's going to work on me. Uh, oh, it might actually. Oh my god, it actually might work. Okay, hang on, let me just take off my top yet again. This works as well. If I was going to wear this out, I would definitely put some fashion tape just here to make sure it's not going to, like, flash anyone. But this is gorgeous. I am obsessed with this scarf top. I really didn't think that all of these were going to work. It looked like one of those things that, I don't know, looks good online, then when you get it in person, you can't actually do it. But I'm obsessed. That was so easy, and this TikTok works as well. And with that, that is the end of today's video. Which DIY was your favorite? Mine was definitely turning that big t-shirt into a Rest. Oh, I love it. It was so easy and looks amazing. So be sure to comment down below if you want a part two of this and feel free to send me TikToks that you want me to test out in real life. Probably Instagram is the best way to do that. So I'll have my Instagram linked on the screen now and also linked down below along with all of my other social media channels and my vlog channel because I'm uploading there as well. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.